Recently, guys, one of my clients asked me to make them an exact list of every single thing that they would need before bringing a Doberman puppy into their house. Now, that's not an unusual request from one of my clients to help them make a list to prepare for their puppy. But what was unusual about this is one, they wanted a list of every single thing because they hadn't gotten a single item yet. And two, they wanted it done on a very tight budget. Now, preparing for a Doberman is hard enough as it is, but if you got a really tight budget on top of it, it makes it that much more difficult. But I was excited for the challenge, and so I made this video to tell you exactly what I recommended and what they actually ended up spending to get ready for their Doberman pup. So let's get going. Okay, first off guys, not everything in this list was purchased at one place. Some of this was bought on Amazon, some was bought at Chewy.com, which is a great place to get pet products online, and some were bought at their local pet store. Uh, but the prices are real, uh, but you just may need to shop around because prices are always changing to get the best possible deal when you're getting prepared for your pup. I will also have as many links as possible in the description down below this video to where you can buy these items online to help save you some of the legwork I did in trying to find the best price. So definitely take a look in the description of this video as kind of your first step in finding some of these things. Okay, real quick though, I gotta give you a pro tip. If you're out searching for things to get ready for a Doran pup, definitely ask friends and family who have dogs if they have any leftover puppy items. You'd be amazed how many friends and families have, you know, crates that don't fit anymore or puppy beds or collars or diff different things. And you can save a ton of money just by asking around a little bit. First up was a crate with a divider, an adjustable divider and a bed. Now don't get turned off by these prices. We definitely spent a little bit of money here. We try to save it in other places, but the uh, crate is really important, especially one with an adjustable divider. So you can adjust it as a dog grows. Um, if it's too big, the dog's gonna wanna go potty in the crate at night. If it's too small, they'll be uncomfortable, they'll cry a lot. Uh, so it's really important to get one with an adjustable divider that you can adjust as a dog grows. We went with a 48 inch model because my clients want one that can hold the dog even when they're an adult if need be, which is can be useful to have. Um, and we went with a Midwest model, tends to be a good compromise between relatively inexpensive and pretty decent quality. Uh, for the bed, we just got something plush that fits right in that 48 inch model crate. Uh, my clients have an extra blanket that they plan to wrap around the bed, which is something I often suggest on this channel because Dobermans, they love to have the extra little soft thing to chew on and kind of get in their mouth. It's like a, they suck on it almost like a pacifier, that extra blanket that's on top of the uh, bed. The added benefit is it helps keeps the bed uh, cleaner and you can easily replace it if they start to kind of chew a hole in it. So uh, the total for both the crate with the adjustable partition and the bed was $140, excuse me, $140 and 98 cents. Next up is toys. And we want a lot of different types of toys here, guys. We want different textures and types and feelings in their mouth because you want your dog to be really engaged with the toys that you have. If they get bored with the same toy day in and day out, that young puppy with hurting teeth and hurting gums is gonna go out and find a different texture in your house. And it might be your couch, your furniture, your curtains. It might be your shoes. It might be something you really don't want your dog chewing on. So the more textures and the more variety of toys the better. This is a tough spot here to do on a budget, guys, um, because you really want them to have the most options. Now, we picked a handful of toys from my ultimate toy guide where I reviewed 20 different uh, of the best toys for Dobermans. We went through that video. It'll be popping up right there in the corner of your screen if you want to check it out. And we picked a handful of toys from that video to get kind of their bases covered. We went with a Nyla Bone uh, for $10.89 is what we got that one for, um, which is just a good different texture, helps clean the teeth and just a good harder surface uh, to chew on. A Chuck It Ball, which is great for activities. We got that one for $9.97. Great for outdoors, very durable. Uh, we got a Jolly Ball, which is an awesome toy I really like a lot. That one we got for $28.50. That one's an outdoor toy, really helps exercise them. It's made for horses, uh, but uh, dogs and Dobermans love these toys a lot. Um, we also got a Kong toy for $20.99. This one's a little expensive because it's the extreme version, uh, but Kongs are awesome. You can fill them with peanut butter or treats. You can also just use a normal chew toy. There's a million things you can do with a Kong to keep your dog happy and entertained. And lastly, we also got a plush toy, which I think is really important for a young Doberman pup. They're used to sleeping with all their uh, brothers and sisters in a big gaggle. And if you got a plush toy with them that they can snuggle up with them with, it makes a big difference. They found that for $4.99 at their local pet store. 
um, on sale. So that was a good find. So total with all the toys, we spent $75.34. And honestly, in my opinion, I'm actually really proud of that. I think that was a great price for just a good variety of different toys with different textures for a new Doberman pup. Next up was the Midwest brand portable puppy pen. We got the 36 inch version for $54.99. I'm actually, um, you know, this is the second time you've heard the name Midwest. It's, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just, they make inexpensive stuff that's decent quality. It seems to pop up and it's kind of available everywhere. So I often end up with some of their stuff. Uh, but this is a great little mobile pen that you can kind of set up in different areas in the house. I use one very similar. Um, and I like to have it in a common area where the dog can take uh, naps during the day and still be kind of a part of the family. Little off in the corner, so they're a little bit more removed from all the activities if it gets crazy, especially if you have kids, it's important to have it off in a corner. Uh, but it's a safe spot where they can just retreat to and relax and sleep in. And it's somewhere you safe, you can put them if you have to leave the house for a short time. Next up is a bed and hopefully a pretty inexpensive one. Now my clients found a really soft plush bed, kind of like I use with Arlo in the uh, sale bin at their local pet store for $19.99. Not the most robust, well-built thing in the world, but it's okay because even if you get a really expensive one, your dog's gonna probably chew through it pretty quick. Now they did wrap in a blanket to help with the durability and the cleanliness and to give the dog a little something to put in their mouth if they need to, like I suggest. Um, but uh, and this, the purpose of this extra bed, by the way, is to go inside that pen that I mentioned earlier in the common areas, just to help make that safe uh, space a little bit nicer, comfier, and cozier for their dog. So when you put them in there, they have something soft to lay on. But for $19.99, I think it was a great buy. Check your local pet stores. You might find some good deals there. Next up was the Accident Cleanup Spray. And we got Nature's Miracle for $8.99. We actually got it online for them. Um, and this is an enzyme destroying formula, which means it breaks down the scent and the smell and the enzymes in the urine or, or their accident in general so that they can't detect the smell later and be encouraged to go again. Trust me, no matter how careful you are with potty training with your puppy, you're gonna have accidents no matter what. Just believe me, I don't care how careful you are. So you want something on hand and ready to go. I just like this Nature's Miracle stuff because I've been using it for a long time. I know it completely destroys the scent and it hasn't really destroyed any of my carpets or left any marks on anything. And it's it says it's got a stain remover in it. I don't know, but I've never had any issues with staining. So uh, yeah, I really like this stuff. And $8.99, can't go wrong. Next up is an obvious one, but a really important one, and it's dog food. Actually, you're gonna need two types of dog food, but the one that they ended up buying was Purina Pro Plan Focus uh, Puppy Food for Large Breeds Chicken and Rice Formula. They spent $52.48 from, I can't remember which outlet they got it from, uh, but, uh, and that was 34 pounds worth of food that could easily last them a month, uh, but probably a little bit longer. They also are gonna need, and you would also need if you bring home a door and puppy, uh, food from the breeder, or the same type of food that the breeder is using. Luckily in this case, the breeder gave my clients a big bag of the food that the puppy was currently on. So they didn't need to buy that. They only needed to buy the food that they plan to tr transition the dog slowly onto after bringing the dog home and getting them used to the home environment. I've gone over many times why I recommend Purina Pro Plan, uh, so I'm not gonna do it again. But if your dog does have any kind of weird reaction to it and you start getting gastrointestinal upsets or diarrhea or just weird things going on, see your vet. But usually it's one of two things. It's either uh, you're transitioning too fast to the new food or they have some sort of sensitivity to something in that food. In which case, you may wanna try Purina Pro Plan for sensitive stomachs. A lot of times that'll fix the problem. Uh, but definitely talk to a vet. Next up, they got food in water bowls. In this case, they got three of them, stainless steel ones. They found them online, 10 bucks a piece. So they spent a total of $30 on these stainless steel bowls. Stainless steel is great because it seems like the fewest number of Doberman puppies seem to have a reaction to it. And if you're not familiar, Dobermans a lot of times will get like acne or little red bumps on the bottom of their chin because they're rubbing their chin against the bottom of the bowl while they're eating. Stainless steel seems to reduce this a lot. Occasionally a dog will still react to stainless steel in their bowl, I had one of them and I switched them to plastic and actually the issue went away. But most, that's kind of unique. Most owners have dogs that react to other materials like plastic or whatever, and they switch to stainless steel because it makes the issue go away. So save yourself some trouble, start off with stainless steel. Um, they got three bowls, one for food, one for, for water, and a second backup water bowl. It's important to have a second backup because if your dog accidentally spills one and you're not there and see it right away, it's good to have a backup water bowl or one you can put in their little pen that's in the common area of the room. But for $30 for three stainless bowls, I think they got a really good deal. Next up was a puppy collar. Specifically, we got a Ba Pet 
uh, puppy collar that has a dual D rings on it. It's a small size made for puppies. I think they spent $8.89, but the D rings having two of them is actually kind of nice because when you go to latch on the leash to the collar, um, you lash it through both of the D rings, uh, which are on the two sides of the plastic clasp that holds the puppy collar together. So you're not relying on a little plastic clasp to hold your dog securely, which is kind of scary, especially like in traffic and that kind of thing. Um, instead, you got two metal rings you're relying on, which is a lot more reliable. But other than that one feature that just kind of boosts the reliability of the collar staying on your dog, um, we really didn't go fancy here. We went cheap. $8.89 is a very fair price to pay. Um, and uh, yeah, save the designer collar for later on because they're going to outgrow this collar very, very quickly. Next up was an ID tag. In this case, they ended up finding one on sale for $10.99 at their local PetSmart. Um, that's a big chain of pets. Uh, stores here in the US. And um, basically what they did is just grabbed it off the shelf. They went and paid for it. They get a receipt. Then they go over to this machine that engraves ID tags. They put the ID tag in, they scan the receipt, and the machine just allows them to customize it right there when, before they walk out of the store, which is really cool. So they put the dog's name on one side. You can put like your address or phone number or whatever you want on the back side of it. And it just engraves it right away and you walk right on out. It's important to have an ID tag in case your dog gets out. Hopefully it never happens, but you want your neighbors to know uh, whose dog this belongs to. Next up, we had to find a thin, light leash for their puppy. Uh, we ended up going with a Dutchie brand puppy leash uh, for $8.99. Again, really basic, pretty inexpensive. We're trying to stick to their budget as much as we can, but the Dutchie brand was nice because it's got a padded handle, it's double stitched, it's relatively strong, strong enough definitely for the puppy. Um, and it's a small leash more expensive that way and you don't want to spend a lot because you have to go to a bigger leash later but you don't want a big heavy leash on your little puppy yet so this is just a great fit for the bill um, but for eight dollars and 99 cents i think it was a good deal next up was dog treats and we ended up going with the jerky treats tender beef strips i've recommended those before they got 3.75 pounds of it it's actually a ton it's a big bucket of it for 15 dollars and 97 cents it'll last a long time um, that is going to be their basic training reward but they also got um, just some mozzarella cheese, uh, string cheese, uh, they're like cheese sticks from their local grocery store. Uh, $4.49 is what they spent. They got a pack of 12 of them. That'll also last a long time. So now you got really your standard training treat, which is going to be the jerky strips. And you got your high value reward training treat, which is the mozzarella cheese. You can just break off little bits of this cheese stick and feed it to your dog as you need to. Now, the mozzarella cheese is a good high value reward, but it's also high in fat content. So you really don't want to overdo it with your dog. In fact, you really don't want to give your dog a lot of dog treats really early when you first bring them home because their stomach is still adjusting to maybe some new food you're transitioning them over to and the stress and anxiety of being away from their uh, brothers and sisters and their mom and in a new environment. So you really want to kind of let them get settled in before you really go heavy on any kind of training with, with training treats um, for those dietary reasons. But now they got their bases covered anyway when they're ready to do that by having the jerky treats for their main one and their uh, cheese sticks for their high value rewards by breaking off little pieces of it. The total they spent on both of it was $20.46. Not bad to have your treat needs covered for quite a while. Okay, so what did my clients pay? These clients that wanted to stay on a strict tight budget um, and also get pretty much everything for their puppy because they had nothing ready yet. Well, the total between all these items was $432.10 plus tax, of course. Um, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But honestly, for them having nothing and to pretty much get everything for that price by, you know, they shopped at a bunch of different online retailers and they also did a little bit of in-person stuff at the local pet store. It's not bad, really. Keep in mind this $432 and some odd change, that's on top of the price of a Doran puppy and on top of the price of maybe an initial uh, visit to the vet for a checkup when you first get the puppy. Uh, but it's, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think they were pretty happy with it as well. Overall, just the amount of things that, that they were able to get. Uh, but I want you guys to be aware that even when you're doing this on a budget, it can really add up quick. Uh, we didn't get anything fancy here, no name brand posh brands or anything, uh, but they're set. They're set and they're ready for the Doberman Pup. Okay, you just bought all these items for your dog. You're feeling pretty good. You saved a lot of money. Okay, what if you wanted to spend just a touch more and get an upgrade to this list to make your dog's life just a little bit easier? What would I suggest? The very first thing I would suggest, hands down, would be a DNA health test kit 
for your dog. It can detect problems and health issues with your Doberman pup years sometimes, sometimes years before they even show up. Um, and then when you get those results, you can forward them on to your veterinarian and they can have a heads up on kind of some what they need to do and how they need to help support your Doberman pup to have a long, healthy life. Um, I really wanted to include in this list because I think it's so incredibly important, but the essence of this list in this video was what you need for the very first month with your Doberman puppy. And I don't think it's critical in that first month. Um, definitely in that first year, you should absolutely get them DNA health tested. If your dog's two years, of age or older, I mean, what are you doing? Get them tested and send that info off to the vet. They need to know. I think it's incredibly important. I did it on my dog and actually recorded myself doing it. That video should be popping up in the corner of your screen, but I'll also have it linked to in the description down below if you want to see how you can easily do this right at home. The next upgrade I might do will be the Ollie Dog Food Service. If you really want to spoil your dog with really quality food, human grade food, um, fresh that's delivered right to your home, Ollie Food Service is a great one. Uh, the only downside to that is price. It's a little bit up there. It's kind of expensive, especially compared to that Purina Pro plan. But a lot of people are turned off by kibble and giving that to their dog. I totally understand that. I like Purina, but I, I understand why you're kind of turned off to that. Um, I also did a video about my experience with Ollie and my Doberman Arlo, which will also be up in the corner of your screen or in the description down below. You can check for the link down there as well. Um, but definitely check out that video. Uh, it's a great way to really spoil a dog and actually just get them really excited about mealtimes. And the last thing we didn't really talk about here is just to maybe get an extremely gentle puppy shampoo. You can get away a lot of times just using like baby wipes or a wet cloth and rubbing your dog down for quite a while. Easily that first month, especially if you're a uh, breeder already gave your dog a bath before you took them home. Um, so it's not super critical. My clients have some really gentle Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo that, you know, we talked about watering it down and that kind of thing and making it even more gentle. Um, but uh, some sort of gentle puppy shampoo may not be a bad idea either. Links to all the resources, the videos I mentioned, and the products, a lot of the products I mentioned will be listed in the video description down below, guys. If you're preparing to bring home that first Doberman puppy, I did just a ton of that legwork for you so you don't have to stress about it. Check out those links. You can go shopping around. I'll sometimes, I'll try and have multiple links so you can kind of compare prices down below as well, just to make your life a lot easier. Uh, before you go anywhere though, if you please hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and also the bell icon next to it. I'd really appreciate it. That way I can keep doing more of this legwork for you and make your life just a little bit easier with your Doberman puppy. Good luck with your puppy, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you're going to have a blast with your dog and uh, take care until next time.